What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I'm back with another video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, before I start today's video, congratulate me and pat on my back. I just finished. I just went to my first therapy section, and when I say these motherfuckers did me dirty, these motherfuckers broke me down like a double barrel shotgun. These motherfuckers folded me in half like a cheap suit from Kmart. They did me dirty, and in the, in the, in the words of the the mass of all jaggies, Nintendo Mutato. How you say, bitches love niggas that play Mario, they get all the booty. Ultra lost his goddamn mind last night. Anyway, on to today's video. Uh, and I'm glad, you know, that DICE has finally opened their mouth and explained why Battlefield 4 would not be on the Wii U. You know, like I said, and, and, when I'm, and listen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, when I say I'm not trolling in this video, I swear on my mother, this is some real, this is game when they get, like before I know I've been guilty of trolling, and you guys gotta get something getting so goddamn emotional with a fucking piece of plastic, but... This here is an honest opinion from a gamer, okay? And listen, you can't, like, like I said, a lot of you Nintendo fans are delusional. You can't lie with numbers, okay? Now listen here. Now, Dice Director, I'm going to read this article to you, then I'm going to explain it, okay? It says, Dice Director explains why the Frostbite 3 would not be on the Wii U. Technical Director Frostbite, John Anderson, Johan, I'm sorry, Johan Anderson has announced on Twitter why Frostbite 3 would not be on the Wii U. Um... Somebody named Muted Penguin asked him a question. Sadly, then, for the Wii U, then, despite the fact that uh, Frostbite 3 was running on the platform initially and then halted, shame. And he said, I guess, correction, says False, uh, Frostbite 3 has never been running on the Wii U. We did, some, we, however, did some tests with the uh, Frostbite Engine 2 with not too promising results. So we chose not to go down that path. A lot of us here on YouTube and the rest of the internet were thinking that they had Frostbite Engine 3 running on the Wii U and he's saying no that's not the case and you know you guys said well the Wii U is more powerful than the 360 and the PlayStation 3 and they have Battlefield 3 and 4 listen and listen I want you guys to understand this that the Wii U has a very very weak and slow CPU okay the CPU on the Xbox 360 is much faster than the CPU in the Wii U, okay? The Wii U's architecture, they have the CPU and the GPU on the same chip, and they, the way they have the, the Wii U architecture is that the GPU is supposed to pick up the slack, but the industry is not used to doing that. The Frostbite engine is highly re reliable, re relies on the CPU, you know what I mean? That's a real prime example. You have Madden that just came out last year, and you, the 360 and the PlayStation 3 had the Infinity engine. The Wii U version did not. The Infinity engine relies a lot on the CPU. You know, I'm about to debunk. Trey did a video months ago saying that the 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 guy uh, released the I guess the, the the clock speed for the 720 CPU. I think it was like 1.8 gigahertz, but the 720's G CPU has multiple cores in there. So it's going to be 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, you know, logic, you know I mean, so, like I said, they, it, like, if rumors are correct, the, the CPU in the 720 is going to be more powerful than the CPU that's in the PS4. You know what I mean? Like I said, uh, I think this, this, the PS4 might have a more powerful GPU, but for us, Processing power for the CPU, if I'm not mistaken. Let's really, we don't know yet. This is all speculation and rumors. Yeah, they were saying that the Xbox 720, I think I actually Ribbon did a video on this too, is going to have a more powerful CPU. Now, with that being said, and and this is what I don't understand, honestly, is that Nintendo was not a poor company. Nintendo made their whole arc, the Wii U arc, they did it for their in house. They thought about the rest of the industry later. You know what I mean? If Nintendo was really serious about getting, you know, third party support and all that stuff, they would they, they they took a page from Sony book, you know what I mean? Take a prime example, Sony went left field with that whole cell thing, they made that shit for their in house, their studios, you know what I mean? And like I guess it was a bitch trying to for third parties to use. It was expensive and everything. That's why the Xbox three sixty had better third party support and with as far as the multiplats and stuff, you know what I mean? Real shit here. But what Sony did, Sony went around and asked the developers what they want, what do they need, and, and make the job easier for them. Pro, you know, hand it, you know, you know, and on hindsight, now the Xbox and the PS4 are using x86 architecture, which is like basically PC architecture, real shit, PC tech. So there's going to be a, a, a second, what would take a job three months to port a game from, you know, from PC to consoles, and now maybe a few weeks, if that, because he's using the same architecture, you know what I mean? And here's the Wii U with, you know, certainly totally different, you know what I mean? And plus also, too, 
Third party games are not selling well on the Wii. That's just being real, you guys. It's not really that EA hates fucking Nintendo because why are they going to cut off their nose and spike their face? Developers are in business to make money. Fucking need the speed. You guys are jumping up and down. It'll be the definitive version. I think this shit sold 20K world all around the globe. 20,000 copies. Like, you can't blame a motherfucker for not putting games on your platform. They're not selling. Oh, well, you, you guys jumped up as mad because you guys didn't get Crisis 3. But would you guys really go out and buy Crisis 3? See, I didn't even go out and buy Battlefield 2. So, what's the bigger game? Battlefield or Crisis? I'm sorry, not Battlefield. I'm sorry. What's the bigger game? Call of Duty or Crisis? Call of Duty Black Ops is far more bigger game, you know, than Crisis. And like I said, Call of Duty sold like shit on the platform. You know, the Vita version I sold Call of, the Wii U version of Call of Duty. So, like I said, you really can't, you know, is it really a market for first persons on the motherfucking Wii U? So, you know, you can't blame EA you know, or, or DICE for not making the Wii U version. Like I said, the game will not sell. Developers are in the business to make money. Prime example, and listen, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm being honest here. Now, Ubisoft is one of, probably one of the last publishers or develop, you know, a known that's still going to support the Wii U. Like, I don't even know if well, the Wii U is going to get, you know, Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, what it was new because I looked on that box version on the, on online. It doesn't have the fucking the the proposal the Wii U version. It doesn't have the Nintendo Network logo on the box. So like I said, I don't know if a fan made that or what. I don't know. It's yet to be announced. But like I said, you know, you can't if you guys don't go out and support your system, you guys are not going to get these games now. Now, like I said, Ubisoft was probably the last big you know developers that have some faith in the Wii because they, what they took they picked the main Rayman Legend of Multiplat, but you guys are still going to get Watch Dogs. You guys are still going to get Splinter Cell. Now, if those games sell like shit, don't suspect, like I said, because next year, probably like in 2004, 2015, Ubisoft is going to start using the Unreal Engine 4 on some of their games. You know what I mean? And like I said, the Wii U is not going to get a lot of those fucking games. That's just being honest. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. Let me what you guys think. Here it is out of Dice's own mouth. The Frostbite Engine 3 has never been up and running on the Wii U. They tried to put the Frostbite Engine 2 up there. But they didn't get good results. Like I said, the Frostbite engine is heavily reliable on the CPU. And the Wii U has a weak CPU. You know what I mean? Now, they had that whole GPU, GPU technology. But like I said, that's new to the industry. What it's basically saying, what the CPU can do, you can throw some of that workload on the GPU. You know what I mean? But with an engine like, you know, Frostbite, it doesn't really work out that way. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video. Let me know what you guys think. Should Nintendo put a more powerful CPU on this system? What do you... I think so. You know what I mean? Nintendo is not a poor company. They say they will not be left behind. And they go out and do this shit. So you really can't blame nobody, you know, Nintendo fans, but Nintendo for putting that... I don't know why. Try it. At least make that motherfucker quad, quad core. And it has... Now, not only is the CPU slow, it has really slow RAM also. The RAM is really slow. The RAM is... Uh, the Xbox 360 has faster RAM than the goddamn Wii U. Like I told you guys before, the Wii U is like an $80 system. Real shit. You gotta just take the fact that it's each fucking unit that's sold is bundled with this goddamn tablet controller. In which it takes more than manufacturing tablet controller than the actual system. So, ask yourself, how powerful can this goddamn console be? You know, you get a tablet and a, and a, and a, fucking, and a fucking system for 300 bucks. how powerful can the system be? If you, and if you still think that the Wii U can keep up with the, three, the 720 and the PS4, put your face right there. Slap the shit out you. But I'm out of here, ladies. And as I always say, bang, bang. Damn, dog. Bitches love niggas to play Mario. They get all the booty. Doo -doo.